And here's Evan Sierra drawing the start for Mississippi State in the first pitch of the ball game. Mershon backhand play, and that will end the inning. Well, the Bulldogs have been so solid on the infield so far this year. You see that week last week from Dakota Jordan, 9 for 13. That ball up the middle. And Amani Larry, the senior from Bossier City, Louisiana. And right through the shift that time. Amani Larry will stop at second base. Larry at second, Dakota Jordan at first. And he dropped the breaking ball in there for strike three for the second out of the inning. Ground ball right at the second baseman, Milo. He'll step and throw, and that will end the inning. Batting 328. Hits that ball well into center field. Here comes Hyzak, and it skips past him. Travinsky on his way to second, and he'll stop there. That ball hit well into left field, but should stay in the yard. Aaron Downs is there. Hunter Hines, and then... Hyzak to ground out, and first pitch swinging Aaron Downs, who had the game-winning hit in the 11th inning on Wednesday night against New Orleans down at Trust, or down at the, this season, 2-2. And strike three called at the knees. A leadoff single here in the second. Tap, third baseman coming in. Tommy White will have no play. It'll be an infield single for Dylan Cup. Soft line drive, and that's going to drop for a base hit from Amani Larry. Aaron Downs will come in to score, and Mississippi State strikes first here in the bottom of the second inning. Night here in Starkville, the 0-2. And that breaking ball drops in there, strike three called, and the third strike out of the night for Luke Holman is in there as well. That ball hit well in the right field, and that ball could go. That ball is gone, a line drive home run for Josh Pearson, and we're tied at one. Well, Pearson just hits this ball on a line. It never got higher than 55 feet off the ground. And the fourth home run of the season. And past the third baseman and into left field and back-to-back -back hits for the Tigers. Hits that ball well to right field. To the track and gone. Opposite field for Tommy White. His third home run of the season. And LSU takes a 3-1 lead. Well, just like we were commenting a moment ago, a guy like Tommy White getting his second look at a pitcher. When his teammates starting to square it up, it just had that feel like he could put a charge into one. And that's exactly what he did, going opposite field. That's just a great job. And the 2-2. That ball hit well into right center field. And that is going to one hop off the wall. Hyzak over to get it, the throw back in. And sliding in safely with a double is Jared Jones. Swing and a miss. And the first strike out of the night for Evan Sierra. And chop through the right side. And Jordan hits it against the shift this time. Line drive, right center field, and that's a base hit. Second hit of the night for Aaron Downs. Coming around to score is Connor Isaac, and it's a 3-2 game. Well, Aaron Downs getting an opportunity here tonight after having the big hit 3-0 counts here tonight. They'll try to come in with fastball, and he walks Logan Kohler on four pitches. The one-two. Breaking ball chop, third baseline. Nice play by the third baseman, Tommy White. And a four-pitch walk to start the fourth inning. Holden Stevens beginning to throw. And back-to-back -back walks, the one-two. Check the swing, but he went around. And a throw down to first, and Nolan Stevens comes in. While State has two runs on seven hits. Ground ball to the first baseman. Well, underhand toss, and that'll do it. It was a Jared Jones show in that bottom of the fourth inning. 93. 
Swing and a miss. There's a good hard slider. The one two. Swing and a miss. And Nolan Stevens retires the side in order. Strikes out a pair. Hits that ball well to right, and we got ourselves a tie ball game. The second home run of the season for Hunter Hines. And we're tied at three in the bottom of the fifth. Well, he hit the ball hard again. That time he got a little lift to it. He drives it out of here. 111 off the bat, it goes 383 feet. In the third inning that kept that inning alive. Got the second on a wild throw. And grounds that one. Brazel backhand play, throw it across and not in time. Pitch clock violation. Line drive, left field, that's a base hit. Over to cut it off is Bingham, and it gets past him into the wall. Downs will come around third and score. And a miscue for the LSU outfield. And Mississippi State takes a 4-3 lead. Hit off the fist and into center field, and that will drive home another run. A two-out RBI single for Johnny Long. Swing and a miss at the breaking ball down. You see Stevens able to drop secondary pitches for strikes. He does it again. Gets the slider down and in. Got on top of it after the shortstop cup. Throw it over and threw it wild and into the Tiger dugout. And that's the second time tonight that Dylan Cup has kind of flipped the ball over to first base. Down and in, and it skips past Johnny Long and back to the screen, and now the count is one and two. So the wild pitch. The slider. Long dropped it, and now the throw to first, and that will end the inning. Made it 5-3. And there's ball four and a leadoff walk in the sixth. Saw Christian Little, number 99, throwing down to the pin. Runner going. The pitch is high and outside. The throw is down, and... Mershon as a batter, a left-handed hitter. It looks like that thing's breaking six feet. Runner going, and the pitch is down, and Mershon was going to steal third anyway. The swing and a miss, and a strike out of Hunter Hines. So Lord comes back into left field, and that's another two-out RBI for Mississippi State, the fourth of the night. And it's a 6-3 Mississippi State lead on the RBI single from Connor Heizak. And hits that ball a mile high in the shallow right field. Pearson is there to make the catch, and that will end the inning. Loud one to reach base. Popped up. Foul territory. May will it stay play. in play? Right by the railing. And caught by Kohler. The one, two. Swing and a miss at the breaking ball down. The one, two. And he busts him inside with a fastball. Strike three looking, and that will end the inning. Nolan Stevens. And squaring and laying down a bunt. Lohr makes the throw and not in time, and is beaten out by the Bulldog catcher. And LSU, let's see if they want a challenge. They only have one challenge remaining. In fact, yeah. they'll confirm it. And here's Dylan Cup. Well, well to throw academic. to first. Well, and LSU fans, well, throw back. Johnny Long was out of the baseline. And now, LSU fans are going to say ball don't lie in that situation. Johnny Long <laughs> was like a deer in the headlight. Uh, we, we may have warnings issued here. Johnny Long and the LSU dugout were having some words, and we're going to get some words here. Pretty please make me say it. Yeah, Johnny Long had some words for the LSU dugout, and Jay Johnson didn't like that at all. And what you don't know is what might have been said Coming from the dugout, either way, Johnny Long's just got to keep his cool. And, and it's worth noting, too, this is a point of emphasis around the league this year, is the degree to which 
the dugouts and players are talking to each other and a lot of times in a situation like this even if one so what it means for pitchers coming off the mound after a strikeout things of that nature we will have double warnings. That ball lifted in the right field it should be an easy play for Pearson ranging toward the corner he'll make the catch and that will end the inning. And a lead off walk in the top of the eighth inning. Tried to check the swing but he went around with a slider Jared Jones and here's Travinsky he's one for three with a double. Off the end of the bat back to Stevens throw to second get one throw to first that is a double play. One to four to three. Swing and a miss. The pitch is down. It gets away from the catcher, and Mershon is going to reach first base. Well, runner going. Swing and a miss, and a stolen base for Mershon. Down and in, ball four. And Mershon steals third. There's a fly ball. Deep to right, the second of the night for Hunter Hines. And State breaks it open in the bottom of the eighth. The power has been turned back on. Hunter Hines just put a charge into that one. He had one home run on the season coming into tonight, and he's hit two. And now Connor Hyzak, first pitch swinging, sends one into left field. And that ball hit well into center field, but it'll stay in the ballpark. Paxton Kling is back, and he'll make the catch. Runner going to try to tag and get to second, and Hyzak in safely. That ball ripped to the right field, and that's another two out RBI base hit for State. Logan Kohler with an RBI single, and it's 10 3. And that ball into center field and hit well, and ranging over is Paxton Kling. He got a good jump locating the fastball, but getting the slider across. There's a line drive in the left center field, and that's a base hit. And the first hit of the night for LSU off of Stevens. Braswell going to try to get two, and he's in there safely. Runner going and just missed the outside corner, and that's ball four. 2-1 to Pearson. Ground ball, right side. Run will score. The throw to first. And he walked him. Now White just trying to put one in play. Hits that ball in the right field. Dakota Jordan back. He reaches up, and Mississippi State has taken the series opener over LSU 10 to 4.